Hello YouTube, today I'm going to do a review on Adobe Muse which is um, a new program uh, used for web design uh, mainly focusing on just graphical side not really code as um, actually there's no code involved at all on this um, the only bit of code that you'll ever use if you want, is if you want to um, put in a HTML into your web page but that's nothing really hard to do um, so anyway basically just like every Adobe program when you first open up you can create a new document or you can open up a site that you've already got but I'm going to just do a new one for today just to show you how it works um, then you're greeted with um, your, like all your page sizes and your margins um, I'm just going to keep that as default for now because it's easier I click OK and then what it does it takes you to a little uh, like kind of like a plan it's called plan and it's like a little board and what you can do is you can add all different pages that are going to be linked to the home page um, obviously it rena it names it as home page for when you first start but you can name that something different if you want um, so anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this um, add button here so it's going to add another page underneath and I'm going to name that about and I'm going to name one next to it which I'm going to click on the right um, and I'm going to name that one images um, then I'm going to add another one and I'm going to put um, contact so they're, they're just uh, three basic pages really they're nothing special um, and as you can see from this little plan diagram it does show you that home is going to be the main page followed by about images and contact as the three pages that will be linked to home so anyway of course because home is our home page we need to start working on that one first so I'm going to double click on that and then basically it just loads a white blank page now that is your home page and you will need the basically this is where you're going to put all of your content um, I'm going to go through some of the features that they've actually got on here which I think are really good um, obviously some of them you, you, you'd probably have to use Photoshop to make better graphics but for now these are quite good just to get you started off um, so I'm going to use the uh, rectangular tool here because if you do this you can then actually fill what you've just drawn out so here is a fill option I'm going to just put it to blue and I'm going to maybe lighten it a little bit because it's a little bit um, don't really know what colour to go for actually um, I'm going to keep it like that for now I'll make it a little bit more darker actually okay so we've got that colour there and I'm just going to quickly uh, click on the selection tool because if you want to be able to select it easier then just click on that um, and like I say you can put this anywhere on your page um, but the thing that I like the most about this is when you've actually got when you've actually drawn out a rectangular tool they've got a feature that's called corners and when you click on it, if you just click on corners, if you do it to every single one, which is top, left, top, right, bottom, right, left, right, it then actually puts your corners quite round. And also you can improve it as well by um, clicking on this where you've got 10, 11, 12, and it does make them even more rounded. So as you can see there, it's actually rounded off quite nicely and also if you've got a photo as well you can also do that with your photos so if you've actually spent a lot of time in Photoshop designing a nice banner you can actually round off your photos which does give a really nice effect um, also uh, they do have a stroke on it as well which is basically just like a little black uh, lining around the rectangular tool or even anything you actually add it has got a stroke on it so oh, just not the camera so basically I always take the stroke off because sometimes it makes it look a little bit ugly but there again you might think a little bit different um, but that's what I that's what I believe anyway um, and what I just what I do instead is when I click on it I am um, in a minute I didn't take that off there we go I use effects as well which is really nice um, you can have a shadow effect you can have bevel which I believe is something like bevel and boss from um, Photoshop you can also add glows as well so anyway, I'm going to start off with the shadow if you click on that straight away it adds a shadow underneath um, you can also change the opacity of the shadow as well which I think is really good 
Um, I think you can also change the opacity of the whole um, rectangular tool as well, which is really nice. Um, you can also choose the size as well. Um, it you know they they really go into detail, and you can make your um, like all your outlines really effective. If I just quickly go into bevel as well, it's now made the um, outskirts of that rectangle look a little bit more um, shadow effect as well. Um, and then if I just stick on a glow, that just puts a little little bit of a glow around the edge. So now you've basically ended up with something like that. And obviously you know you could create something better like that in Photoshop, but it is an option when you actually add an image because it does make the image look ten times better. Um, so that is really good. You can also, if you just click on the white space, it allows you to do a browser fill. So that means whatever background, at the moment my background is just dark grey. If I wanted to change that to just to white, it would. Or if I wanted to change it to red, I could as well. Um, but I'm going to just keep it as white now because you can't really go wrong with white. Um, uh, the other thing that I was going to show you is also they've got a text tool as well. And you just basically like drag it along to however what size you want. And then you can just go... Um, and put whatever text you want. Um, you've also it's it's really really simple. There's no having to go into any kind of like settings to try and find things. It's all laid on a plate for you. Um, and then you can obviously just put that anywhere you want. This isn't really good if you want to make a banner because, like I say, it's it really is quite simple. Um, you really will need to use Photoshop or a program like Photoshop to make your own banners because it. You know, you can't do anything like you can on Photoshop where you add text and then put like loads of um, outlinings on it because it's you you can't do that, or at least I've not found that option anyway. <laughs> um, but like I say, it's really good in the sense of um, outlining things and adding things really quickly. Um, so I'm going to delete these two now anyway, and I'm going to show you which um, is really good. It's a widgets library, which is on the right bottom right here. Um, First, you've got compositions, which is um, quite good as well. Um, you, you do have a blank one, but I'm not going to show you that one. I'm going to show you the featured news one. And all you have to do is you have to just drag it over, and it'll go straight onto your actual, um, straight onto your web page, and you can edit it straight away. So it's, I, I think that is brilliant because um, you couldn't do something like that in uh, Dreamweaver unless you knew how to code or if you'd actually downloaded something. So I think this is really good just to be able to drag it and drop it in without any hassle. Um, and basically, I'm going to just show you as well when I've finished renaming these. Um, two seconds. Right. When you've actually um, added stuff to your website and you, you kind of think to yourself, oh, I wonder if that's looking okay. You can actually... Um, view it. They've got a preview tab which is next to the design tab and publish tab. If you click on preview it shows you what your website would look like. Now see at the moment like I said I've got a white background on both things so all you can see is what I've just added. But this thing here look it's actually like flash but I believe it isn't flash because I can view that on my iPad and the iPad doesn't actually support flash so it must be HTML5. So I'm pretty sure now everything's going over to HTML5 because like I say you couldn't generally um, view anything with flash on your iPad and I could so it must be HTML5 so that's really good um, I am actually going to show you um, what I've made on my websites because I have actually made a website so I'm going to open it up now and I'm going to go to desktop I'm going to open it up So I'm going to go to just the home page for now because that's easier to show. And that is basically my personal website which I will be putting online soon and I will have a link to my YouTube account. Um, and basically that's what I've done. I've made all of this inside Muse. It didn't take me too long actually. I spent a little bit longer time on it because um, I wanted to make it a bit perfect. but that's basically what I've done um, and it was really easy to do um, if I just quickly go to the preview tab as well so you can see a little bit more 
so that's basically what it looks like um, I've got my little thing here I've not really um, customized these yet I've written on them what I want to have on there but I've just not changed those photos yet so I still have flowers on there and all that load of rubbish um, I've also got like a, an a images thing here as well which you can add slideshows it's once again it's really simple all you have to do is just drag and drop them over and they, they go straight onto your web page um, this latest images thing also um, you can set it to move on its own now, I don't know if you saw it but when I first actually opened the page I'll do it again without me actually putting my um, cursor over there it automatically starts moving but as soon as you do actually put your cursor on it to select a photo it stops but I think it's still good that it flicks through it anyway um, let's just go to another section I've just got one here with links um, that's basically what I've added on there all, all the different um, things that I, I actually think you should have on your computer all of my uh, links to some of the good programs that are actually out on the internet I haven't really listed all of them I would have put um, Adobe Muse on there but that's going to change quite soon because it's still, still only in beta so I didn't really want to put it on there yet um, but like I say that's you know it's, you can literally add anything you want um, and there's nothing too much involved in it um, so that's really it uh, there is just uh, one other thing that I am going to show you quickly just so you know a lot more um, do I want to save that? What did I do differently? <laughs> um, no, don't save. Right. When you click on menus, if you go on to um, all these different ones, it gives you an option to add like one of these. I'll show you. You got like your home button and stuff like that. See, there's only one thing that I can't actually work out on this Adobe Muse, which is on the bottom right here on the widgets library it shows you that all the pages that you've got that are in your plan should link up to um, all your widgets on your like if you wanted to have a menu they should all appear because it does show on the widgets library but for some odd reason every time I drag it over I only get home I mean I'm pretty sure it's just me being stupid and not really spending much time on it but either way it's supposed to work so I'm pretty sure you'll got you guys are uh, sort it out and uh, if you do then please actually comment and tell me how it works because I'm not quite sure um, panels I've not really used any of those but um, this one looks the, like the best one the tabbed panel um, it basically allows you to have all different things on each tabs but within one page so you you know you can have all different things on a page just in one page you don't have to go to another page so that's really good um, maybe you could have like video 1, video 2, video 3 and have all three different videos in each tab so if you're, if you're having a website that's going to teach someone how to um, build a website you could have on the first tab introduction, second tab you could have you know um, whatever you wanted so you could have basically three videos and it would be easier for the person to find them so that's really good um, and the last thing that I'm going to show you today is slideshows um, that they're very easy to use you do have um, three different types there's not many um, widgets in each library because it's still in beta so they're just testing it out um, but I'm going to show you the basic one because that one I, I believe is quite good um, and basically what it does is um, you can see which uh, photos are actually in the um, slideshow and you can also add captions as well so I'm going to rename this one and I'm going to name it to YouTube and then what I do is when I want to change the photo I just double click in the middle and then it comes up with like a little play button at the top right if you click on that you can then add images so I'm going to click on add images and then I'm going to go to um, image and then I'm going to go to uh, I'm just going to add under construction for now easy there we go and then it's added it straight away now that is that's really good and like I say you can add all transitions you can add um, whether it's autoplay you know it's it really is um you can really experiment with this um, and it's not too hard either so that's basically the slideshow um, and I think that's brilliant and that is mainly that's mainly it really uh, 